this lesson, you'll learn of the four key phases of client retention and how to implement them in your fitness business to impress and retain more clients for longer. Well, the first step is understanding client retention. Did you know that it costs five times as much to attract a new online personal training client than it does to keep an existing one? Well, the first rule of any online training business is to retain clients and build a loyal relationship with them, and thereby avoid customer acquisition costs. It's a well-established fact that 44% of companies have a greater focus on customer acquisition versus 18% that focus on retention. Client retention is arguably one of the most important aspects of your fitness business. It takes a lot of hard work to draw clients into your business, whether that be through online or offline efforts. So it's important that you work to keep these clients more and uh, more than satisfied once they actually decide to work with your company. So next you want to find out what your clients want the most. Now the data that you need to find out exactly what your clients want is right in front of you. By observing and communicating with your existing clients or those who are your ideal clients, you can obtain all the data you need to find out what your clients really want. And we're not talking about the things that they want from a program. We're talking about the things that they want from you as a service provider. Things like customer support and maybe easy access to nutrition workouts and nutrition advice. In a recent survey published on HubSpot, it was found that companies who put data at the core of their marketing and sales decisions improve marketing return on investment by 15 to 20%. To get started, you can use things like email and contact forms, which involves literally asking your clients how they found you, what they like, what they don't like, and why they canceled on you. You can use surveys and polls, and you can create Facebook surveys uh, to get ideas for new features, requested info and common topics to write about. You can also do usability tests where you pay someone to use your site and give various feedback on features. You can use customer interviews where you interview uh, current customers in exchange for services. Uh, also, you can use analytics where you make use of software and also you could use comment boxes. The next thing you wanna do is use this data to improve your product or service. Now your existing clients will tell you a lot about what they need and want in order to keep coming back. Without these methods of collecting feedback, any future improvements to your service would be most likely guesswork and the chances of actually solving critical problems that keep people engaged or coming back are severely reduced. It goes without saying, Use the feedback that you get from your clients to create a better and more streamlined service, even if it costs you money. Money spent now could save you money spent on obtaining new clients later because the existing ones don't want to stick around. Next, we're going to have a look at rewards and gamification. Now, beyond delivering a better customer experience based on feedback, some of the other ways that we can increase customer retention includes rewards and gamification. While a rewards program might seem like a no-brainer, surprisingly, 66% of small businesses don't have a loyalty program. For personal trainers, the benefits of a rewards program may include increased client engagement, higher client lifetime value, and greater ability to upsell and cross-sell. Now, ways to gamify your online training service can be categorized into three elements. That includes progression, which means leveling up or maybe gaining points to achieve a higher status, Investment, which involves earning recognition for accomplishing tasks, checking in, uh, or being incentivized to involve others. And then also cascading information, which involves receiving bonuses for accomplishing tasks, discovering new information when you complete a task, and accomplishing tasks in a set time frame. Now, how you choose to gamify your service is up to you. It depends very much on your business model and assets available to you. Now, you also want to make it personal appealing to your clients needs and making every client feel like they truly matter goes a long long way besides the obvious approach of fulfilling your clients wants or needs other techniques to keep customers happy include sending a note on their birthday yes this does take a bit of tracking but it's pretty easy and it's a pretty inexpensive way to show customers that you really care you also want to ensure that you give them personal attention and that means giving your time and personal attention to set you apart from the competition you also want to ensure that you express appreciation for every purchase, whether it's a thank you email or a verbal thank you, expressing sincere appreciation and this makes people feel like they are making a difference by supporting your business. Now begin with getting into the mindset of client retention thinking, 
and identify what you think might be impeding the increase of high client retention rates and then start testing those assumptions to find out how to improve it. Make sure you measure your current client retention rate and track how your business improves over time.